What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing two things. One, we're going to get this old 50 weight oil out of this car, put some fresh new oil in it before our June 9th track session at Sebring. The next thing we're doing is a little bit of myth busting. Now I was on the, on the tubes and I saw a video from Jacob from Straight Pipes and he owns an 07 Z06 I believe or an 06. He takes it over to his, to his mechanic which in their area is known for working on Corvettes in particular and he mentions that you and I have been doing our oil changes for the LS7 dry sump system wrong. Let's jump into it. So what Jacob and the mechanic are mentioning is that obviously with the dry sump system, we have two oil drain plugs. We all know that we got to drain both when we do uh, an oil change on this car. And obviously we have the standard oil filter. But what they're saying is we actually need to remove the dry sump lines because oil stays in those lines. Now, when I was watching the video, one thing I noticed was they drained the lines before draining the drain plug, which naturally means since the line sit a little bit higher, of course, if you drain at a higher point, there's going to be fluid in it. But if I, theoretically, if I drain from a lower, lower point, that fluid that's kind of hanging out there is going to go down. And again, our uh, dipstick should indicate an over a fluid amount if there was really oil still left in there. And then we did the standard 10 quarts for the 08 and up Z06s. So I don't think it's entirely accurate. So I'm going to do it backwards from the video, I'm going to go ahead and drain all the oil out of both plugs first, and then I'm going to unscrew the lines and see if there is any oil left. Now, the only reason I'm even entertaining this idea is because he mentions in the video that this can cause some smoke. What did he say? And we all know this old girl here still loves to smoke on wide open throttle. Now we've pretty much got it down to it's only smoking at very peak RPMs, so it's not as critical to me anymore, but I still want to entertain the idea and I want to be able to bring that information to you guys because I did notice that I felt like it was done backwards and that's why they found oil in the lines. So I just want to either debunk it or A, or bring it to the attention that, hey guys, let's start disconnecting these lines. I will say, I also talked to some of my other Corvette buddies and they did mention that K-Tech, which is well known with the Corvette platform, does recommend doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's jump into it and let's get this done. So we've got the two drain plugs absolutely drained. We changed the filter already, drained that as well. So technically there should be little to no oil left in the car. Um, the drain lines or the dry sump lines are 13 millimeter. So I'm switching to see what kind of socket fits there. It's kind of in a tight area. And I'm gonna unscrew it and then pull them back out and see how much oil I actually really get out of those things after both drains plugs have been drained entirely. So time to myth bust. Tons of oil. Holy smacks. This is just one line. I am surprised. Well, I almost thought I'd be clickbaiting the title by saying that we were doing the oil change wrong, but actually, in fact, we were, uh, well, Jacob from Straight Pipes was actually right. When I pulled the initial line, um, so there's two lines in the dry sump, you can unscrew them, pull them together. I pulled one at a time. I honestly went down there thinking nothing was gonna come out of this thing. So I actually, what I should have done was put a measuring cup or something like that and actually see how much. But that very first line I pulled out after doing both drain plugs and the filter, there was still, I would say, a quarter of a quart or maybe half a quart of oil in it. It was pretty, it was a, a bit, and you can kind of hear it in my reaction when I see the oil come out because I was, I was expecting to see little to nothing. Um, again, is it overly critical? Probably not so much. For guys like me that track the car 
and really want to make sure that you get as much of the old contaminated oil out of the system, definitely make sure you follow that step. So remove both drain plugs, go ahead and do the filter, and then with a 10 millimeter socket, pull both drain, um, dry sump lines out and drain those as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get oil back in the car. Um, I did get a sample from my Blackstone Labs. I'm gonna send that out and I'll make another quick video once the Blackstone uh, oil samples come back. And we're done with this video pretty much. Let's just finish this thing up and now close this thing out. Day, um, I really just I had to take change the oil and I saw that video and I was just like wait a minute I got potentially a little bit more contaminated oil left in my car um, obviously they said that it can lead to smoking and you know old smoky here still doesn't want to get rid of the, the old smoke that it likes to do with the smoke shows on the track so I figured what the hell let's pull the lines let's try to myth bust it but it was actually pretty accurate I will probably put this in my process every time I change my oil uh, mainly because I want this thing to be as healthy as possible and as you guys know if you guys follow my channel I change the oil quite often almost after every track day I clean the oil out of this thing so hope this helped you guys a little bit you know and something new for the oil change I am sending out my oil out to Blackstone Labs so we already got it in here I'm gonna be shipping it out now in the next hour so hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll have a new analysis with the 15W50 the first one I did was on the 10W40 from Motul this is 15W50 from Mobile One the same exact oil that's in the car now again uh, because I did like the oil pressures that I saw on track. So we're going to keep running the 15W50 for the coming months. For those guys that are like, oh, you can't run that because it's too thick. And I live in Florida. It's a current, it's 8 o'clock in the morning right now and it's already 90 degrees. Not worried about it. I'm going to keep running 15W50. This is a primarily track car. It doesn't really see much road use. So not too concerned with that, but if you watch this far, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.